<laughs> okay, we're playing Nino Kuni. I've never played this game. I don't know anything about it. I just know there's really loud. Ever so slightly, you're giving me a moment. It's ever so slightly on the loud part. I cranked it by like two decibels. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Uh, here as well. And let's just get right into this bad boy. Hmm. Battles would be easier. Recommended for people who prefer to focus on the story. Or normal. There's only two difficulty settings. Well, I like challenging battles. Let's start. I know this game is considered to be pretty good, but I've not actually ever played it. I think it does like the over top thing, or the big maps where you kind of hover your boy on it. Hmm. <laughs> Anyone tried this flavor of monster yet? Ultra Get a move on, Ollie boy! Slow down, Mr. Drippy. Very good. But Ding Dong Dell's just on the way! Huh? Huh? Hmm? Oh. Uh, huh? What do we do? Run for it! Ah! Get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? Oh, excuse me. Am I missing something? Oh, I knew the animation looked familiar. Overall supervision, Akihiro Hino. Okay. I need to get a proper capture card. I can see that it's framing a little bit in the OBS window. I guess I'll let this play out. Because I've never played this game either, so... Maybe get a gist of what I might be doing before. Or, you know what? Yeah. Alright, you guys enjoy that. I'm going to check on something. That's why this plays, and I hate those kind of things. Uh, yeah, so feel free to do that. Good morning, Miss Layla. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? So he finally finished it, huh? Do you know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'd have gotten <coughs> far. Excuse Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing.
Hey, Ollie. Oh, Over here. You. That must be our best friend. Oh, it's Phil. You use the left stick to walk to where Philip is standing. Approach Philip, and a message bubble will appear. Message to speak to him. Oh! What button did that? Right button. Hello, Phil. Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? What else would it be, dum-dum? Dum-dum? Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? What else? We take your first spin. T oh, oh, sorry. Tonight? But I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom. And... Sure, sure. You go ask your mom. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Well, I... No, but... Okay, we'll do it tonight. But we'll have to be real quiet. What are we doing? Sure we will. Okay, tonight in my garage. Be there or be square. Sure. Sounds like fun. Maybe we so, gotta trick out bike. This is the child who will save the world. Or so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. The dark djinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver. Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? This is cool. Minimap will be displayed at the top right of the screen as you travel around. This map will let you see your immediate surroundings. Press R1 to switch to the local map, showing an overview of the whole town. A st the star lets you see where you need to go next. Your first part of call, port of call, is Oliver's house. Yeah, we need to go see the mum. We need to also look both ways before we cross, just like real life, because I just saw a car go by. Oh, let's talk to this pedestrian. How do you like my hot rod? She's a real beauty, ain't she? And brand new, too. Maybe one day you'll be able to forge your own car and be as cool as me, kid! Don't call me a kid, I'm grown. My, these potatoes are so cheap. Perhaps I'll make some nice, healthy french fries for the kids. That's not healthy. But it is probably the 80s, so... Good morning, Oliver. How's your mother? This is quaint. Look at this truck! We'll have to go around the block, I suppose. Can I talk to you? Oh, well. To Mama's house with the groceries. What's the Oh, you can hide the mini map. Okay. Alright, we're here. Got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? Okay. Say, Mom. Hmm? Did you say something, sweetie? Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Mm hmm? Uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? Oh, <laughs> well, you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast. You'll be late for school. Mm. And chew before you swallow. Mm. I was gonna say the same thing. You kind of scarfing that down, Oliver. You gotta calm down, buddy. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. See you later, Mom. Bye, sweetie. You be good now. I will. Hey Phil, you didn't go to school yet? Huh, <laughs> school's small. Today's a special day, kiddo. Today's the day our dream machine finally rolls off the drawing board and onto the streets of Motorville. Oh boy, I can't wait. When can I see it? Whoa there, cowboy. Not so loud. Don't forget this is our secret. 
Hey, Dum Dum, you didn't tell your mom about it, did you? No, I did not. I asked her if she was busy, and she said she has a concert practice, so she'll be in bed real early. Perfect, then tonight's the night. You still in, kiddo? Sure I am. Tonight at your garage. I'll be there and not square. Look at that. That must have been the white witch from the uh, title that was watching us. She must be asleep by now. Neato, she's out like a light. Now's my chance. I have to get to Phil's garage. Press triangle to open the main menu. You will then be presented with a range of options. Use your D-pad to select options. Okay. Additional menu options will become available as you progress through the menu. The game. Open the main menu and press options to save your game. Once you have saved your game, you can select continue from the title screen to restart from the point of where you left off. That's good to know. What is the guy? Oh no, that's like where we're going. Anything on here we need to um, change? Maybe turn the text speed up just a tad bit? Look at this. That's awesome. All those different things down there. Let's save our progress. Did that save? Oh, it totally did. Alright. Let's head over to Phil's house. Oh yeah, you might be hearing traffic in the background, so I'm sorry about that. We just moved to a new house and our sound and we don't have soundproofing on our windows, so we'll be paying for that soon, hopefully. Oops. Maybe we can sneak through a little bit this way. Never mind. So I guess we'll head to Phil's house and we'll see what this uh sweet ride he's got is. She's just chilling, man. What is it with that kid? What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, you know my Fair mom enough. just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Want to see? Yes. Do I ever? All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Yo. Wow. Let's oh, is this go, neat? Dude. No, this is so, so neat. You betcha. <laughs> the new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. That's wholesome, man. It's not even close. So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah! <laughs> That's nice. Okay, there's nobody around. We should take her outside now. So, uh, Phil, who gets to drive first? Uh, hmm, let me see now. Tell you what, kiddo, if you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, wait right here. Watch out for Starry Mary, will ya? Starry Mary? You know, the girl who was spying on us before. I swear that kid is cracked. See, there she is again. I'll bet that tattletale goes straight to her olds. She wouldn't do that. What are you, sweet on her or something? Go check out front already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. You don't think she would snitch? Okay, let's not walk. <laughs> All right. The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. Is it the what? girl? Huh? I oh, know it's a different. It's bad. Kid. Please, Oliver. 
Don't go. Huh? Who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over. Hmm. What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh, no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. Mm hmm. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. That's interesting. <sighs> Some kind of guardian angel. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a candle in the darkness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Whoa. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, mm, your ladies? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, your radiance. He who would save this doomed world must die. Whoa. Well, this is bad. We're gonna die. Mom! Help me! <gasps> ah. Sweetie? Where are you? We're not in our room. Oliver? <laughs> Oliver? Hmm. Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Oliver. Smart. Oliver. Oh, I'm nervous. Badass little ride, but like, surely this is not safe. Uh, uh, uh. Off it goes. <laughs> we have lift off. Whoa. Oh, it's kind of going, man. That's not. Oh, sh shoot. Got her mother's intuition, am I right? Oh my goodness. Oliver? Oliver, wake up. Uh, uh, uh. Mom? Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. 
I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That's that dead, junk, man. I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you okay, Phil? I still twisted my ankle back there. <laughs> Whatever will you children get up to next? <laughs> hmm? What's wrong with her? Allie, Allie. Uh, Allie? Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, my. Oh. She always did have a weak heart. Mom? She wants to overstress oh, herself, man. Bob! Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom! You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. No. No, she's not gonna die. Mom? Mom? No. No! Don't leave me! Oh, I still like this man. Again. Mom! It's, this kind of stuff hits a little too personal, man. Don't I don't like this kind of stuff. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? I don't know. And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Wow, she really is evil, man. Let us see how the story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. <laughs> You're giving me lots of reasons to hate you. Real quickly. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. We're at Mammal's just house now. Here for you, okay, dearie? That's sad, man. That really is sad. Mm, he did more than twist his ankle. Now, now. You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told him. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. starts her new job today, but she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mommy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. <laughs> Be good while Mommy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. Always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. <laughs> Mommy. It's alright, buddy. Come back. Please. Oh, wow. Ah! Ah! Oh! So this is how it moves is back around. Free! I'm free! Free! That's cool. Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy? Is he our That's right, slash and I'm sick to the teeth of you are snivelling and mourning. <laughs> a proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days? I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. This voice what? is familiar. I, uh, 
Oh, do you a bit flummoxed? A wee bit lost for words? Not to worry, man. I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Chomp. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, will. Neat. On with the show! Oh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts oh. and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh-huh. And then you went and tried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. Oh. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I... Find us Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right. Especially with me to help you. But I... Oh, want me to ask properly, do you? Fair dues. What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... um... no. No? <laughs> what the heck? Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on, once more, but louder. <laughs> he said no. I won't do it. Why not? I, I mean, I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? <laughs> Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. That's smart, man. And I just can't right now. <laughs> what, because your mom dropped dead? Oh. Uh, That's sour. Yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh, Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Oh. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mom, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. That's cool. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and your mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. How much up would it be if it didn't work? Wait. <laughs> we go through all this. How do you know all this, Mr. Jones? <coughs> You've been a doll this whole time. Excuse me. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm? What is it? Oh. I'll... I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvelous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? 
That's for me to know and you to find out. Look like I love this dude so much. <laughs> All right. That was a lot, a lengthy exposition there, but my goodness, that guy is hilarious, and we found our sense of purpose. So that's awesome. I think that's gonna do it for this episode, though. Uh, this game seems really interesting. I really hope that we can uh, possibly solve some stuff that's going on here. I want to learn more about that white witch, as uh, the title says. But she doesn't seem like she's the main antagonist, though. Seems like she's just an antagonist, right? She's the title, but Shadar, or I think they, they said his name is Shadar. I think he might be the actual big baddie. So if that's the case, that would be intriguing that she's just kind of there. But yeah, I guess we'll find out. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.